We are crossing the Drake Passage and we will be crossing over the 60th parallel today, which is the demarcation of Antarctica, but we're more than a day out yet from the Antarctic Peninsula, from land. The science team aboard HMCS Margaret Brook is getting ready and today they launch what's called an Argo float, really important to measure the ocean. This is the float that we're going to launch today. It's an Argo float. This is the antenna that it uses to talk to the satellite. And this is the instrument package in here. It measures the temperature and the salinity of the seawater. Sophia Johannesson is with the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. Did you have a look at the bladder when it was lying down? As soon as we let it go overboard, it will go down to 1,000 meters, and then it will float along at 1,000 meters wherever the current takes it for about 10 days. And then at the end of 10 days, it will go down further to 2,000 meters, and then it will shoot right up to the surface. All right, in the water! It will make contact with a GPS satellite for, to um, pinpoint its position, and then it will also send its, uh, the information, the stored temperature and salinity data, up to a different satellite. And how long will it stay in this ocean? for three to five years. Wow. Just floating around, measuring all the time. The Argo float array goes all around the world in all the oceans, not so many in the Southern Ocean as everywhere else, but there are 3,000 of them about in the water at the moment. They are measuring the temperature. They can tell us how the water is warming, and that can be used in climate models, both to help predict the short-term weather and also to give more information about future climate change and how fast the world is warming. These floats will move around in the current, and here, the Antarctic circumpolar current moves around and around and around the continent unimpeded by any land. For much of the trip it's been sort of light rain and relatively warm but we're noticing a discernible drop in temperature as we move into Antarctica where the cold southern waters meet the Atlantic which is a bit warmer. We are expecting snow tonight and by late Friday or early Saturday we should see Antarctica proper land on the Antarctic Peninsula. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, aboard HMCS Margaret Brook.